But I don't agree with you guys. I don't agree with Sarah. I do think that we have many examples in history of people that were extremely nuanced, uh, and yet were also the leaders of uh, huge activists. Like Voltaire. An intellectual is not the same thing as an activist. No, but he was right? both. writing a pamphlet. Was, no, no, no. He wasn't leading people on the street and mobilizing them. Was that what he's, was he, he doing? He was hiding people in his house, right? Okay, that's, was going that's, to, not, okay. that's not what I mean. That's not what I, I mean. I, I, I mean, yeah. I mean um, you know, marching. I mean, uh, you know, that, that's not the same as being an intellectual leader or being mm -hmm. part of an intellectual tradition. I mean, then you can say all philosophers are activists by that degree, but they're not. Yeah, do you have to have marches to be able to be an activist? Like, is that the standard i think activist activist means activist means that you have certain um you know you see the world as having certain policy or social problems like social ills and you are working on the ground with people with politicians with whoever you need to work to to, to, to make those changes well okay. and activism there's an element of community organizing okay right. And when you're talking about community organizing, you're talking about pleasing a lot of people all the time. Mobilizing, right? right? I mean, the, yeah. the word is mobilizing. Right. That's right. very you hard. Have to, now, for instance, if someone is a writer or just a, that's what they're doing, then they're just writing about their thoughts and what they think and they're doing it honestly. Which, what, what activists okay. have to yep. do is they have to get a big group of people together. Writers don't have to do that. Yes. I'm just saying there are a few people in, his, in history that managed to be intellectual and yet phrase things in such a powerful and beautiful way that appeals to the masses as well. There are few and far in between, and Voltaire was one of them. Voltaire was popular among intellectuals and the masses. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.